Welcome to Programming with Professor Califf. Today I want to talk about inserting and deleting items from arrays in Java. The fundamental idea here is that I have a list of items, integers, strings, students, savings account, something, and I'm keeping track of that list in an array. So the array has to be at least as big as the number of items in my list, but it could be larger than the list itself. In addition to the array, we'll have an integer variable that keeps track of the number of items in the list. We're going to start by looking at an unordered list. So here we have an example. We have an array of size 10 that currently has a list of eight integers stored in indices 0 through 7. Note that index 8 and index 9 do have integer values in them, but we don't know what those values are because they're not part of our list. Now I want to insert the value 10 into my list. Because I don't care about the order of the list, I'm going to just insert the new value at the end of the list. So we put the 10 into the array at index num items, which is 8 here. And then we increase num items by 1. So inserting is pretty straightforward when we're talking about an unordered list. But let's suppose now that we want to delete something from the list. Let's suppose we want to delete the 7. The first thing we have to do is define the value we want to delete. Fortunately, we already know how to do that, so we'll use the find that we already wrote to determine what the index of the 7 is. In this case, the value we want to delete is at index 6. So now I need to figure out how to actually delete the value. But what does that mean? I could replace it with some value that tells me this spot isn't in use, but it's not clear what that value would be in general. Plus, I really want all my items together with no holes. After I delete, I'll have eight items. I really want them to be in indices 0 through 7 again. What I need to do is to shift the items that come after the 7 over so that my list of items is all together. So I want to shift the 9 to index 6. I want to shift the 10 to index 7. And I want to reduce num items by 1. So how am I going to do that? We're going to assume that we have the index of the value to be deleted in a variable del index. In this case, that'll be 6. We're then going to start by reducing the number of items. Then we need a loop. This will be a for loop starting at del index and going through num items minus 1. Inside the loop, I need to copy the value at index i plus 1 into the array at index i. And that's all there is to it. So I encourage you, try this, go type it in to uh, Eclipse or another IDE and see if I'm right, if this will actually do what we did with the arrays. Some of you are wanting to ask me about the 10 in index 8 here. You want to do something to get rid of it. We don't need to do that. Our list has 8 items in it, and everything we do with the list will be limited by that num items value. So we won't ever look at index 8 unless we put something else in that index. So in general, we don't need to do anything about the value. There is one exception to what I just said, however. If your list contains data that might have security concerns, if it has financial data or personal data that should be secured, then you might want to do something to zero out unused portions of the array so there's no possibility of losing track of secure data or leaving it somewhere in memory to be found. Unless that's the case, we won't take the time to do anything about those values that are off the end of our list, even though they're still in our array. Thanks for watching. In the next video, we'll continue in this vein and look at inserting data into a sorted array, an array with the data that's in a set order. Deletion will work the same in that case, but insertion will be a little more interesting when we can't just put the new item at the end of our list.